I recently saw a question from someone asking about whether or not they should invite a guest onto their show who is controversial and could potentially be polarizing. They were concerned that they would scare away the audience. You know, you think about it. How hard is it to build an audience? We're always, you know, striving and pushing to get people to pay attention to us. And the idea of just losing them, I know, it's just terrifying. But the fact of the matter is, is if you're not brave, you're not going to have a very good show. And now I don't say that in the sense of just be brave for no reason. You really need to understand your audience. You have to have your own point of view. And you have to know what the outcome is that you want from your show. I always tell my podcasters that you there's a promise that you're making to your audience, okay? There's something that you're telling them in the description, in your messaging. There's a promise. You're telling them, if you listen to my show, you will get this. So what is your promise? That's really the first thing you need to understand is what you need to protect it too. What is it that you are telling your audience they're, that they're going to get? If you have a comedy show, you promise them that they're going to have a good time. It's going to be funny. They're going to laugh. They're going to end that half hour laughing. Okay. You might have a specialty. You might have a um, specialty one where it's, um, you know, maybe you have a comedy one again, but let's say it's for a certain people group. So you keep it really clean. So your promise might be, it's going to be super funny and the kids can stay in the room. So that's your promise. If you're in business and you are helping people build systems and strategies to grow their business and achieve their goals, your promise is, is they're going to listen to your show and they're going to have one more tool after every episode that's going to help them take another step forward. And they're going to have an actionable tip that if they did that today, they would be one step closer to, to having the business of their dreams. So think about that. What is the promise that you're making to your audience? Uh, first of all, comment, because I would love to hear it. I'm so intrigued by this, and I love to hear people's dreams about podcasting. It really taps into why I love this in the first place. But in addition to just knowing what your promise is to your audience, you can't be afraid to deliver it. And a lot of times what happens is we protect ourselves instead of protecting the audience. What I mean by that is that, let's take this as an example. The, the question that I got or that the group got from this podcaster, I loved, first of all, I loved the question. I just so appreciated that this person asked it. But to, to have, the fact of the matter is, is if you have some controversial and polarizing, you are going to get a lot of views and listens. It's just going to happen because like in this case, they even said like last time they were on someone's show, they got a lot of uh, traffic, but they can't be the driving reason you have somebody on your show. It needs to fulfill the promise. Having that person on your show needs to fulfill the promise. Now, if you can fulfill the promise and get traction, it's helping everybody. Number one, you're trying to grow your show. But number two, you're trying to build a tribe. So if you bring someone on, even more beautiful is if they don't agree with you. And if you can have someone on and they don't agree with you and you're able to guide that conversation and be a good example of having a conversation you, with someone you don't agree with and making it fruitful and interesting and engaging, you're a rock star. Like you are proving that you, this is where you need to be. You need to be interviewing people on podcasts. And if you're able to interview somebody who doesn't agree with you, which in this case, that's that was the impression that we were getting is that it was somebody that didn't particularly agree with the host, but to have that person on, let them say their views. It's not for us to, you know, our, you know I mean, we need to argue them, but not argue to argue, but instead pull out a viewpoint, but also you need to have a viewpoint. So in order to frame that, you need to participate in it. And it's hard and it's uncomfortable. And there's a risk you're going to do it wrong. There's a big risk you're going to do it wrong. And if you're new with this, there's a risk. If you've been doing this forever, there's a risk, especially these days, because everyone's so tender. Everyone's so um, just struggling to even have conversations with people they like. And so for you to be able to bring that conversation in, have a viewpoint, deliver on the promise, and bring in, in all these opposing views, you're really, really bringing something incredibly amazing 
plus you're going to get a ton of traffic. So what I like to say is you have to be brave to build your show. Being brave builds shows. So you get out there, build a great show. Happy podcasting.